Hey there, welcome back to the Xerox use case video series. I'm Ken and today we're going to talk about using Docker to uh, create a public share. Let's dive right in. So on the left side, I've got a folder here that I've created named Xerox public share. And starting with the Xerox.io website, I'm going to navigate to the guide section of the website. And this is under docs. So we're going to be looking at the Docker share guides specifically public share. So I'll use these as a guide, but I'll just give you the highlights. I've already created a folder here named Xerox public share, like I said, and I've downloaded this Docker Compose project file. Of course, you're gonna need to have Docker and Docker Compose installed, but the good news is that if you install Docker Desktop here with uh, on a Mac OS or Windows computer, then you're all set. So go ahead and pop open your terminal and we're going to need to change directory in the terminal over to that folder, just like I have right here. Now you're gonna to need to edit a file. The name of the file is .env, and it's gonna have this inside. You can get this token from your Xerox login. So if you go to the web console, looks like this, and scroll all the way to the bottom, you can reveal your token right here and save it on your clipboard, and then paste it into that file named env. And that's the environment token that Xerox is gonna use when it's running inside of a container. And then the last step is just to run this command, docker compose up. So I'll go ahead and do that. And while it's doing that, we can keep an eye on our Xerox web, web app here. We should be able to see the new environment. Yeah, there it is, just got created. And we also have a share dangling off of our environment. So this website address right here, Xerox.test, is a little test server running in a second container inside that same project. So if we look at Docker Desktop, now we see that we have an app, Xerox Public Share. If we, if we expand that, then we see a couple of test servers, like little demo servers, as well as our public share running right here. So the very last line of the output is our public share URL. And if I put that on my clipboard, I can paste it into my browser here. And now we can see the request flooding in to the demo server and we're talking to the endpoint. Now at the end of the guide, there's one more thing you might wanna do just to get a better handle on this. And that's to go into the compose file itself that you saved in your project directory and edit this line. So I'll show you where that's at and I'll go ahead and put the replacement value on my clipboard so we can just do this right now together. So I'm gonna hit Control C to stop that project from running. And since I did that, we see in Docker Desktop that all the containers are stopped. But they're still saved. Anything that had changed up to that point is still saved in the containers. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open my text editor and edit this file. And so if we go down to that line that the guide mentioned about the command that the public share actually runs, if we replace it with this value, now we're going to share a different demo server, the HTTP bin test instead of the Xerox test. So both of those are right here inside the project down at the bottom, Xerox test and HTTP bin test. They're just two different servers listening on different ports. So it was pointed at 9090, now it's pointed at 8080. So if I go ahead and save that file and run the same command again, just up, now we should see a totally different share appearing here inside of the Xerox console. We see now it's pointed at HTTP bin test. So if I go back to the same address as before, now it doesn't exist because this is a new public share. So Xerox is going to tell me that does, that's not there anymore. Pretty cool that you can just share something and then make it go away just as easily. So to get to the new app, I'm going to put this new public share address on my clipboard and paste that into my web browser. Now we're talking to the new demo server, and this is an API testing server. So we can see exactly what we'd expect here coming back from that server. All right. 
Well, that about covers it for a public share. You can swap in any container you want, any server app that you want to share and make it public, even though it's running inside a little private Docker network. Have fun with it and pop into the forum if you have any questions for us.